In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a crouch system in Roblox. So basically what this is going to do is when you press C on the keyboard, your character is going to crouch down. So it's very common for that in sort of like combat games. So the first thing we want to do is come up here to avatar and we want to go to rig builder. From here, we can select what we want. I'm just going to select R15 and block avatar. Cool. Now I'm going to put him there like this. And the next thing we want to do is we want to, oh, sorry, we want to go to the animation editor once I get through here. Here we go. I want to go to animation e editor. So this one here. So we want to click on the rig here and we want to create an animation. So I'm just going to put crouch, oh, crouch shift. Oh my gosh, I can't spell crouch animation and then click create and basically what we want to do first of all is we want to make this leg here come out so we go to rotate it um, like this put it about here this one here we want to rotate down like this This one here, we want to go back like this. And then we want this bottom bit here to go, oh, we want this bottom of the leg. Hmm. We want the bottom of the leg to come like, oh, okay, I think that'll work now. There, okay, so that's sort of like, that's what it's gonna look like when it's crouched. So just fiddle around with that, mostly couple what I've done um, for yourself. Now something worth noting here is that you want to, so I'm just going to make it crouch a little bit more. You want to make sure that the character is um, touching the floor when you do this so that um, when you crouch you won't be floating. So to do that we want to select the whole thing and we want to go to move. Um, is this going to, oh, that's going to move that. We want, I think we'll go to the hips. There we go. So make sure it's touching the floor. Make sure it's not going through the floor. Um, I think there's pretty good to be honest. I think that works well. Yeah, that's like just above the floor. So make sure it looks a bit like this. Okay, you also might want to move like the arms a little bit. Obviously, this is going to be the animation that it looks like when it's crouching. So I might want to move the arms, rotate them a little bit so they look a bit more natural. Uh, you can move them like that, you can move them right here. I don't know what kind of game you're doing, but if you're doing like some kind of shooter game, the arms would probably be um, a bit inwards like this, holding the gun. So yeah, just get it to your liking. I'm going to say that's pretty good for now. So once you've done this, what we want to do is we want to go over here to these three dots. And we want to click on... You want to click on publish, so go down here to publish to Roblox. And here you want to type in, just keep it as crouch, and you want to hit submit. Nice. From here you want to grab this ID, make sure it's copied, and then you can just close this like this. Now we want to go down to the starter character script, so starter player, starter character scripts. And we want to put in a new local script like this. So this is what the script is going to look like in here. Um, you can copy this. I'll give you a few seconds to look at it. You can just pause the video and copy this. Or you can just check in the description and it will be there. So once you've done this, there's a few settings you can change in here. Now first of all, we need to put the animation we've just made in there. We want to put it, we want to put it here after the um, slashes. And also if you want to change the key that you press for um, crouching, then you can change it. So if you want to put like control in there, then that's something you can do. Okay, now from here, we can just close this and we can hit play and it should be working from here. So you can see I can walk around and then once I'm ready to crouch, I can hit, I can hit there and you can see that I've, I'm crouching pretty cool now in this example here you can see like the crouch is not a lot of crouch 
So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go back and edit it a bit. So I'm going to end the, the game there. I'm going to go back to our recording. I think you can do that on the here. We can go to crouch. Um, I can click here to continue editing. Okay, let's move this front leg up a little bit more. Up to there. Let's move this one down to like here, like this. Nice. And now we can go to the move option. I'm going to select the torso. I mean, like the hips again. I think, is that on the floor? Yeah, that's pretty good. And the back leg, is the back leg touching? Yeah, the back leg's pretty good. So that's going to actually make me crouch a lot more. Okay, I think it looks good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the same as before. I'm going to uh, publish it. I'm going to call it Crouch 2, just so I know what it is. Okay, I've got the code here. Now I'm going to close this over here, and I'm going to close this and go back into the script we made. I'm going to paste the code in here. The code has changed, and now I'm ready to close this and hit play. And I hope I've done all the steps right. Now if we go here, you can see, yeah, that's way more crouched now. Way more crouched. And it's pretty cool the way it transitions into it as well. Now I could I could lower this even more. I could um, put the legs out more. Obviously my rig is different to this one. But if I was to... I could set it up so it made it lower. I made it even better. Now something else you can do from here is if you wanted to like a prone. To make someone go prone you could do that. Um, so I'll just quickly show you how to do that. I'm going to go back to my rig. I'm going to crouch. Hit animator, and I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna like change this up completely. So, it might even be better if I just start a new animation. To be fair, I'm gonna click on this. Um, okay, I've got to do that animation. To be fair, so for this one, I would want to like click here. I'd want to move. I feel like I'd want to rotate this first. The whole body gets rotated onto its like belly. Sort of like this. Nice. Probably want to move it up a bit so it's not touching the floor. Right now we want to rotate the arms. Um, rotate this bit of the arms so that it's like here. Do that with the other arm as well. Oh. There. I feel like the head you'd want up as well. Yeah, you'd want that up as much as it will go. And then I think you want the legs sort of straight, don't you? So. Um, yeah, I think that's probably a pretty good prone. I can do this for leg as well. Nice. That is a pretty good prone, I think. Probably a bit flat. I want it a bit flatter, actually. So even here, here, like this. Obviously, now we need to move it to the floor. So down to here, like this. Um. Now, obviously, I'd want to make it better so that it was like flatter. Maybe I can just rotate this for now, but you'd want to make it better. We could do it like this, and then we can move it down even more. But you'd want to make yours like better than mine. So now we've got that, we can do the same again. We can export this, uh, publish, and I'm going to call this one prone. I'm going to copy the ID here. Close it. 
And now we're going to go to the script. Um, I'm going to duplicate the script. Go into here. Um, let's say we want to do Z for that. And we can put the animation ID in here. Like this. And then we can close here. And hit play. And we should now have a prone animation. So we've got crouch. And we've got prone. It's sort of, I don't really know what it's doing. <laughs> I think I need to delete one of the codes, to be honest. Because I can't get back up from, I can't get back up from this. But it is, it is working, it has gone into prone. Um, yeah, I need to delete some of the settings and make it work. But that's how you do it. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, then be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.